Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Lemo Ultimate once again, but on the Steam Deck. Yes, we are playing on the Steam Deck today. Many of you are probably asking, how are we doing that? And the simple answer is, this is not through Steam OS, but on a Windows partition. So I'll go ahead and show you kind of the settings that we're running with today. Graphics are as low as we physically can get them. Circuit detail, texture, player detail, opponent detail, all low. Special effects, shadows, shadow blur, soft particles are off, raindrops, road reflection, environment re reflection are low. Texture filter is bilinear. Furthermore, visuals are those. So because this is a Windows partition on a Steam Deck, I actually do have the Fnatic drivers installed. So let's go over to a race weekend real quick. So we'll do a uh, Monza Hypercar. We'll do the Ferrari 499P. And let's uh, get started. So this part is pretty reminiscent of what you'll experience on the uh, PC version is that for whatever reason, it will take you two minutes to watch this little loading screen. It'll sit at 97% for probably about a minute of it. <laughs> so, and the poor Steam Deck, it, you won't be able to hear it much because of this microphone setup, but it is running behind my head at full tilt. It is trying so hard. All right, and after what feels like an eternity, we're loaded in. So we'll hit start driving. And, oh boy. I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. Come on! Go, go. Alright, I'm going ahead of you then. Of course, the clicking house has got the problem. So, as you can tell... This does not look pretty. And, of course, what we're experiencing is... Uh, 1280 by 800 resolution scaled up to 1080p. So you can easily tell, like if you're looking at, for example, like the fencing, you can basically count all the pixels. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. But to be fair, really? You want me to follow, but you're going to cut me off. All right. So as you can tell, it's just... Games that run on SteamOS are really well optimized. They really are. And then you have the option to be able to, like, go into various performance settings and, like, really turn down the refresh rate of the monitor and be able to, you know, add FSR and all that kind of fun stuff. Because it's Windows... There's like a million programs running in the background, which the Steam Deck does not have the performance capability to be able to hand that. Let me in my spot, damn it. Move. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the best that we can get. These cars are just kind of jittering along. The graphics are absolutely horrifying. And what's interesting is that you would think that I, th I believe the minimum requirements is that you have a Intel i5-4500 or well combined with the GTX 870. I'm not sure how the Steam Deck APU compares, but you would imagine that it's better than that, but this is giving the impression that it's not. So that all being said, you can start to get a little bit of a glimpse as to why Studio 397 has made mention that Steam Deck compatibility is not their priority at the moment as they're trying to work on the game itself and eventually may have Steam Deck compatibility. But uh, with how this is running, this is gives a very good idea what they're working with at the moment. It's, it's not great. All right, so I'm trying to go as fast as I can. We've got GT, we've got the LMP2 class now trying to come in front of me. They're all bumping into me. I am going flat out, but it does not matter because they're just going faster than me for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, God. Oh, it's terrifying. And these, this car, because it's Lama, is like impossible to drive. Everyone is coming around you so quickly. Yep, there goes the GTE. Goodbye. <laughs> can I can I still drive? Okay, I can still kind of drive. No, now the back is breaking loose. The rest of the GTE class is now past me. The steering is not great. <laughs> And if you push the throttle down so much, it feels like the wheels from behind you are going to snap out. So Lama Ultimate on Steam Deck. Uh, I suppose it's technically playable. But yeah, the thing that really gets me is I think you're going to have to turn the AI way down. Because if you're going full throttle and the GTE class is passing you, oh god. Oh freaking god. Come on. Nope. <laughs> oh. uh, fight the steering wheel. We can do it. I am going to be completely honest. I am absolutely ecstatic because this is the longest I've stayed alive since I've tried playing this game on Steam Deck. I've installed it and done probably about three races and all of them have ended at turn one. I think I have a collective game time of about five minutes if you include all those formation laps that I've done that somehow I didn't wipe out and then I immediately wipe out in turn one. <laughs> Like I said, it it's technically playable, but oh god, the experience is horrifying. Oh. My poor car. My absolute poor car. And it still drives. It still not really drives. <laughs> oh no. This is not gonna, yep, and well. <laughs> All right, and we're back on the track to everyone's dismay. <laughs> and we're getting lapped, and yeah. Can somebody just end us? Just, just, just end it. End it all. Total us, please. Yep, there goes the LP2. Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> uh, Lama Ultimate, everyone. So the couple of pointers that I have here is it, this is, for all intents and purposes, completely unplayable. I would not recommend this experience at all. Like, the AI is buggy as all hell. The graphics are absolutely disgusting. The response time and the inputs are really weird. They don't feel right. The car already, when you... You need to have every assist turn on to play on Steam Deck to be even remotely playable. And then you have to turn the AI all the way down again to be remotely playable. So it's just, it's not a great experience. The one point that I did want to kind of touch on is we don't have comparison to what this game will be on Steam OS, but just by playing a handful of games, it's really interesting to see how a game performs in Steam OS versus Windows. Like in a couple of weeks, I'll actually be releasing a video on Need for Speed Unbound, and it can run incredibly smoothly with a couple of bugs um, in Steam OS. You can get it to just be flawless. But with Windows, the lack of customization is a huge problem because I know I'd be able to get this to be a lot better if I had FSR, if I had, you know, the ability to adjust the uh, resolution further down beyond the 1280 by 800 to push it lower. You know, it would run better if I'd be able to adjust the the, the frame rate of the, well, the, the hertz of the monitor. But you get none of that. And on top of the fact that Windows is running 
a million programs in the background. So you can absolutely play virtually any game on the Windows side of Steam if you have that set up. I really wouldn't recommend it for a lot of these games. They're just like you can run them. The drivers are there and they run, but the optimization is just so bad. It's I just wait for them to be eventually optimized to the Steam OS side. So those games that have anti-cheat, it's just you're between a rock and a hard place. I would definitely not play Destiny 2 on the Steam Deck. It's just not worth it. So if you guys enjoyed this content and want me to see how other games play on the Windows side of the Steam Deck, please let me know down in the comments. I think I actually do want to provide a little bit of a review of Forza Horizon 3. That one is just absolutely... Ugh. I think it, regardless, it'll be entertaining and be kind of insightful to the rest of you. So again, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And again, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day today. Take care. Bye.